Eagles are big, predatory birds that belong to the Accipitridae family and are separated into many species that bear little similarity to one another. The fully feathered head, large beak, robust feet, and curled talons define these birds. Except for Antarctica, eagles have been discovered all across the world. More than 70 eagle species are unofficially grouped into four groups, with fish eagles, harpy eagles, and booted eagles belonging to the subfamily Budianini and snake eagles belonging to the subfamily Circutini. Physical Characteristics and Appearance Size, their sizes range from the tiniest South Nicobar Serpent Eagle, which measures 16 in, 40 centimeters, to the largest Harpy Eagle and Philippine Eagle, which measures 3 feet 2.5 inches, 3 feet 3 inches, 98 to 100 centimeters. Weight, the weight of different eagle species varies. The South Nicobar Serpent Eagle, for example, weighs only 0.99 pounds, 450 g, whereas the heaviest is the Stellar Sea Eagle, which weighs 15 pounds, 6.7 kilograms. Wingspan, the white-tailed eagle and Stellar Sea Eagle have the biggest wingspans among avian predators, with median wingspans of 7 feet 2 inches, 218.5 centimeters, and 7 feet, 212.5 centimeters, respectively. Eagles have dark-colored, brownish, or blackish feathers. Eyes, their eyes are equal in size to humans, and their eyesight is four to eight times stronger than the typical human. Eagles, like all predatory birds, have powerful, hook beaks that they use to rend flesh and kill their prey. They have curved, strong claws that they employ to catch prey. Distribution Europe, Africa, and Asia are home to the majority of the 60 eagle species. Outside of these places, only 14 species exist, 3 in Australia, 9 in South and Central America, and 2 in North America. What kinds of habitats do they inhabit? Most eagle species prefer to make their nests on high cliffs or in tall trees near bodies of water such as streams, lakes, and rivers. Because eagles are sensitive to human-caused disruptions, they require extensive, undisturbed forested grounds for nesting. How long will they live? Eagles can live for 14 to 30 years in the wild, but they can survive for more than 40 years in captivity. The oldest wild bird was a banded bald eagle who died in 2015 after being hit by a car at the age of 38. What do they consume? Eagles are the top avian predators, eating a wide range of birds, fish, small mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and crabs. When food is short, these carnivores feed on decayed or dead flesh. Bald eagles prefer to eat fish, whereas golden eagles prefer to eat marmots, ground squirrels, rabbits, bighorn sheep, and juvenile pronghorn antelope. Behavior Eagles have big wings and like flying at great heights. These predatory birds are outstanding hunters and they will battle tooth and nail to reclaim their territory or capture their victim, regardless of its size or strength. Strong winds and upward air currents flowing from mountains and hills are used by eagles to acquire altitude and fly long distances, especially while migrating. It prevents them from flapping their wings, which saves a lot of energy. Eagles hide in rocks and pluck their worn-out feathers when they become frail and old. They remain hidden until fresh feathers sprout. Adaptations When compared to hawks and buzzards, all eagle species, including the little booted eagle, have substantially longer, more uniformly spread wings. This physical feature aids in faster, more direct flight. They have larger, heavier, and sharper beaks than other predatory birds, allowing them to bite and rip target flesh with more force. Eagles have the finest vision in the animal kingdom, allowing them to spot prey from a considerable distance. Their robust talons and muscular toes aid in grasping and hauling heavier prey such as fish, sheep, and antelopes to a perch. How do they procreate and mate? The breeding process begins with the construction of a nest in which both the male and female participate. One to three months before the mating season, nesting begins. 
They will use the same nest every year if they have successfully produced and protected their young at the nest. They perform a courtship routine that includes swooping flight, circling, and cartwheeling in the air, followed by copulation. The male eagle mounts the female during mating, which takes place in the nest or on a branch. The cloacal kiss refers to the procedure by which the male and female cloacus touch and sperm is transmitted. Eagles are monogamous, which means they stay together for life. Five to ten days after copulation, the female normally lays a clutch of one to three eggs. Both male and female eagles incubate their eggs for 35 to 45 days before hatching in the order placed. How do the baby eagles look? The chicks are nearly blind, damp, and weary after hatching. Their eyes are a dark brown and open after several hours. The seven qualities of an eagle. Eagles have vision. If you ever encounter an eagle sitting high over a tree or cliff on a steep mountain, pay special attention to how attentive the bird is. The body remains motionless and the head is turned side to side to see what is going on below, around, and above it. Even though it's flying nearby, you can see how acute its eyes are seeking prey. Eagles have excellent vision. Their eyes are created specifically for long-distance concentration and clarity. They can see another eagle flying 50 kilometers away. Is this a characteristic that comes to mind? I am certain it does. Consider the world's great leaders who have come and gone. Many great leaders have come and gone, but one trait that they all share is vision. Vision is an effective leadership trait. Take, for example, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, led his country through the Civil War, the most catastrophic catastrophe in its history. He had a vision of preserving the unity and freeing the slaves. Many historians regard him to be the greatest American president. You must have a vision that guides and leads your team toward the goals of the company or society. The vision must be broad and specific. A large, focused vision will yield large results. Eagles have no fear. An eagle will never yield to its prey size or power. It will always fight to capture its victim or reclaim its territory. Try watching the video of the Golden Eagle's extraordinary hunting method of hurling goats much larger than itself off the cliff edge. You would attack them without regard for your own safety, regardless of their stature or the weapon they were holding. Fear would never occur to you since your instinct is to protect what you love and adore. Fearless leaders are successful. They confront challenges head on. Eagles are tenacious. When a storm approaches, keep an eye out for an eagle. When other birds flee the storm in terror, an eagle expands its huge wings and soars to greater heights using the current. The eagle takes advantage of the storm that other birds fear and flees for safety. A leader's life is fraught with difficulties. This is the storm we must face as leaders in order to reach new heights. A leader, like an eagle, can only soar to greater heights if he faces obstacles head on rather than avoiding them. This is simply another example of leadership. Eagles are excellent flyers. Eagles can fly up to 10,000 feet in the air but can land quickly on the ground. You will never see another bird at 10, 000 feet. If you come across another bird, it must be an eagle. An eagle does not mix with the pigeons. That was said by Dr. Miles Monroe. Pigeons scrounge on the ground all day, grumbling and complaining. Eagles, however, are not. 
They soar quietly, looking for opportunities to strike their next target or glide with the storm's current. Great leaders solve problems. They don't whine like the birds. They enjoy taking on difficulties, just like the eagle does when a storm approaches. Eagles never consume dead meat. An eagle never consumes dead meat. To put it another way, an eagle does not scavenge. It exclusively consumes the meat of the prey it kills. Eagles consume raw and fresh meat. What a wonderful example of true leadership. A genuine leader spends time with people who are lively and open-minded. You must surround yourself with people who can think, make informed decisions, and act. These are the persons who affect social change. They are vivacious and dynamic individuals. Go out and find them. These folks are known as change thinkers and change makers, according to Tony Buzan, a proponent of mind mapping and mental literacy approaches. People you hang out with and the books you read eventually determine the person you become, as the adage goes. Eagles have vitality. Eagles are full of life and vision, but they also take time to reflect on their lives and re-energize themselves. This occurs around the age of 30. When eagles reach the age of 30, their physical bodily condition deteriorates rapidly, making it impossible for them to survive. What's fascinating is that the eagle never stops living, instead, it retreats to a hilltop and undergoes a five-month metamorphosis. It bangs its own beak against a rock, then plucks out its talons and feathers. Each stage results in the regeneration of the lost bodily parts, allowing the eagle to live for another 30 to 40 years. As a leader, there will be occasions when you must look back and assess your life. The positive and negative experiences you've had as a leader. Are you up to date on current knowledge trends? Do you need to work on some aspects of your leadership? Great leaders constantly check and balance their personal and professional life and strive to learn new things every day. Eagles nurture their younger ones. Whether you believe it or not, eagles are known for their ferocity. They're very vicious, aren't they? Anyone who is unfamiliar with this magnificent bird will answer yes. What is more amazing about this bird is its capacity to raise its offspring. According to research, no member of the bird family is more caring and attentive to its offspring than eagles. This is how it works. When the mother eagle realizes the time has come to teach the eaglets to fly, she gathers an eaglet on her back and flies high, extending her wings. She swoops out from beneath the eaglet and lets it fall. It progressively learns what its wings are for as it falls till the mother catches it again. The procedure is then repeated. If the young is slow to learn or cowardly, mother brings it back to the nest and continues tearing it apart until there is nothing left for the eaglet to cling to. She then pushes him off the edge. True leaders are not dictators. They grow alongside their people. They work hard to help individuals in the organization or society reach their greatest potential. They teach and lead in the same way that the Mother Eagle does. They never stop challenging but never cease empowering and instructing. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.